Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's the Common Collector coming at you with my first YouTube video ever. Um, I've been trying to get into the game for a while and making YouTube videos and I thought that now would finally be the perfect time. So the other day I was on Facebook Marketplace looking around uh, at what's for sale for Yu-Gi-Oh cards and this shoe box came up. As you can see, the shoe box says Trent and Mitch's Yu-Gi-Oh box. Uh, to Trent and Mitch, I just want to say thank you. Uh, you guys have brought me so much joy for what you gave me here. So now I'm going to try to get into the box here and just show you guys what I got and just sort of have a discussion and share with you, uh, you know, just some of the rarity of some of these cards that I got. As you can see, um, some of the tins that came in here, there's the Yugi and Dark Magician, Joey and Red Eyes Black Dragon, and finally my favorite of the tins from when I was a kid, Joey and Black Skull Dragon. So why don't we just get into what's here and without further ado, let's get going. Once again, as I mentioned, um, the this box I found just on Facebook Marketplace and um, these kids, whoever Trent and Mitch were, they uh, obviously just kept all their cards in this shoe box and whoever was selling this on Facebook, they, they mentioned that they were at a storage locker sellout uh, at an auction and this box just came with it. So um, I never got to meet these guys, but once again, I just want to say thank you so much for what I got here because this, this really was phenomenal and you guys will see why I'm so happy once we get a little more into this. Um, here's a little closer look at the tins. As you can see, they're in really, really nice shape. They still got the tight seal on them but not too tight. You can just kind of take them apart with one hand even. and uh, I mean, they're just in great shape. I was really happy the box came with a couple of classic mats and, and the old OG rule books. Here there's a stack of, this is all of the stack of normal monsters, the effect monsters, but I don't really need to go into there. There's just so much junk in there that that would just be kind of a, <clears throat> that would take this to, to be a three hour long video. Uh, classic, you know, ritual, fusion monsters, you know, tons of duplicates in here, but uh, you know, great stuff. A couple of really awesome spell cards that I've gotten here, Painful Choice, um, you know, a couple of really old classics, Change of Heart, which a card that'll probably never get off the ban list, but you know, makes me happy to see a holographic Change of Heart. Traps, obviously, not too big of a stack. It's funny how just how how rare traps were compared to magics and monsters back in the day. Um, and then here, this entire stack right here, this is all Legend of Blue Eyes, which is just, uh, as you come to know me, this is my favorite favorite pack of uh, cards to ever come out. Um, just everything from inside Legend of Blue Eyes is just so phenomenal. Um, so. I was just super happy to see a handful of the cards there. Um, there were a few magic cards in there, which I know absolutely nothing about magic. I'm sure that most of these are pretty worthless, but anyway, it was kind of cool to see that. I'll just probably be selling them at my local card store. Then another thing that was just super awesome was that there was all of these um, Japanese cards that came in. Two, uh, two Dark Magician Japanese, one blue eyes Japanese and then another Japanese blue eyes but written in English I just don't I don't know if these are fake if they're real you look on the backs and they look real but I just don't know there's you know even if they are fake they look cool they look awesome bunch of real classics vampire lord Dark Magician Girl, and then a couple of the OG Japanese Monster Reborns, Mirror Force, and just a ton of others, but no need to bore you there. Now we're going to get into some of the really cool, really rare stuff. So just kind of, I'm just going to sort of sweep across a few of these with my camera. You know, Parasite, Parasite, classic card from the TV show. 
acid trap hole and if uh, if any of you are old enough to know the uh, dark duel stories game whenever I come across these I always like to grab these DDS cards just because they're promos and if you can find them in good shape they're pretty rare not really valuable but they are they are kind of a tough thing to come by and they, they are just fun um, another thing I thought was kind of cool was just I got a good good set of all of these uh, metal raiders you know the uh, attribute increasing cards so I thought that that was really cool and then I got I didn't get Destiny Board, but I got the I, N, A, and L cards. Some Monster Reborns, which is just always fun, nice to get. No holographics there, though, unfortunately. But of the holographics that I got, by far, these are just some of the sweetest. Um, this Black Skull Dragon, I remember when I was a kid and I accidentally sent this card through the washing machine. I just, I was so sad. Everyone on the bus could not believe me. We, we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! every single day on the bus and I used to just kick butt with my red eyes and my black skull dragon whenever I could and uh, you know one day I sent this card through the washing machine and then I lost it and I couldn't use it anymore uh, and everyone was just disappointed I was disappointed but this is the original card if my camera will focus from the tin that this is coming from which I just thought was amazing uh, looked on Amazon and and that's that's a pretty sweet find that's about a $25 card right there not in not in mint condition but still in pretty good shape another card that came in really good shape is the tin exclusive red eyes black dragon as you can see there BPT and so that goes to that tin right there. Now I did not find the Dark Magician that comes into here, but I was able to get Dark Magician from Starter Deck Yugi, which isn't crazy valuable, but still in really good shape. And you know, we like seeing those kind of cards from the original starter decks. And then just one of my favorite cards from the anime, uh, a card that I've tried way too many times to make it work in a deck where it just doesn't, but Valkyrie on the Magna Warrior, just such a great card. Um, extremely tough to get out, and really nothing too special when you do get it out, but hey, what a cool looking card. So anyways, one last thought before I let you guys go. Um, I, I just sort of pulled out my favorites from this stack of the Legend of Blue Eyes packs that I got. Um, these, you know, Flame Ghosts, got a pair of those. Flower Wolf, another pretty good find, and uh, a rare Spirit of the Harp. Finally, uh, um, over here, the uh, two-pronged attack, uh, which, you know, back in the day was kind of the top tier for spot removal because there just wasn't enough for uh, if you really had to destroy one of your opponent's monsters, this was really your only option. And, and even if you're playing on Duel Links nowadays, this is like, at the beginning, this is just sort of what you have to run if you need something for spot removal. It's just ridiculous. And I want to go over to this uh, rare Mystical Elf. I mean, the holographic on there, I've always just loved. I've always loved Mystical Elf. Great card from the anime and just and a beautiful card. And then uh, I already showed off my my tin Red Eyes Black Dragon, but here we have a LOB Red Eyes Black Dragon and that's also just in super duper great shape really beautiful card then moving on over here we got a holographic polarization another super good looking card pretty good rare find one card that I did not have in my collection before this which which I was really happy to get and then finally Curse of Dragon um, like I said I only paid forty dollars for this as you can see this is a pretty sweet sweet steal for uh, for a classic card collector to get. Um, I was really happy when I was on my drive home already flipping through these cards and I mean I was just ecstatic. I'm, I'm still just shocked by um, especially these top four cards right here. I was just super happy with what I got there and I'm glad to have a new Black Skull Dragon uh, back into my collection. So anyways guys thank you for joining me today. Um, this was my first video ever, so if you guys ever want to see more stuff like this, just let me know. Um, I'm kind of always finding stuff like this, 
So if you are interested in me making more videos, uh, possibly doing some deck profiles in the future, I am more than happy to do so. Anyways, this is the Common Collector signing out.